Hey, good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another gorgeous morning here in Southwest Florida. I'm up at the north end of Area 2 right now at Del Norwigans on the boardwalk to the beach. There's one of the bathhouses right there. They've got, I think, five of these on the beach here. They keep them pretty darn clean, and you can see there's showers at the bathhouses too. Very important that you shower after going in the water. But you've always, you're always seeing this ramp in my beach walks here in area two. I figured, what the heck, we'll head out to the beach on the ramp. You see all the dragonflies flying around? That's it. They just love mosquitoes. These dragonflies, they that's their diet is mosquitoes. Look at them all. I don't know if you can see them in the live feed or not. Beautiful out there. Another super calm day. Look how flat the gulf is out there. Another great spot to stand and take pictures up on top of this boardwalk. Well, obviously, I'm not going to be able to tell if we had any sea turtle crawls down on the south end of the beach by starting here. I'm going to walk north. It is really calm. No bad smells out here. Look at this level. Gorgeous, beautiful Tuesday. Look at all those clouds down there. Wow, beautiful. Where's our dolphins? It's hoping they might come swimming by. There are raccoon tracks all over the beach. Those raccoons are getting very, very desperate. With not any people being at the beach for the past several weeks, they have been trying to get into the sea turtle nests and unfortunately it's, they have gotten into several of the nests and eaten the eggs. But the reason is because there hasn't been people here and there's no garbage at the park. So the raccoons are starving. We can see signs of them digging at just about all of the nests now. See, there's, they were scratching at this nest right down here. Hmm. 
There's something floating out in the water. I have no idea what it is. Is that what that is out there? We had one yesterday, probably 80, 90 pounds, just swim right up in the shore. I think he was blind. You could touch him, and he, but he couldn't oh, yeah, dive I, down. The one that was right here, yeah, I videotaped that yesterday. But it, I think he was blind because his eyes were all white. Well, that was from the red tide. Yeah. Sad. Well, in this area here yesterday, was so full of fish. I mean, yeah. And that's a grouper floating out there? Yeah. I don't want, I'm wondering why it's not moving. It's not dead. That's his gill plane. Yeah, but why isn't it it's coming in? Oh, it just, the, the top, the, it, he's come in quite a way since I've been here. So there must, obviously the red tide's still out there, way out there. Uh, that's sad. Another. Oh, was it out that far? Yeah. A, go a Goliath grouper out there. That has floated in from out in the Gulf, sad. Killed by the red tide, which is still way out there. Well, not way out there, but it's out in the Gulf. That's for sure. It's not here on our beach, but it's still out there. Sad to see that. I thought that was a bird sitting on it when he was out there. Yeah. Him. It looked like it was a bird sitting on it, you know, kind of maybe eating on it or whatever. That gill plate, the way it's. Wow. Well, sad. It's too bad the raccoons can't eat them. <laughs> yeah. Eat the, the dead fish instead of the darn sea turtle eggs. They're getting, so did, uh, they're getting into all the nests. Did Roy uh, uh, get moved yet? Yeah, he's out of ICU. Okay, cool. Because we, we were going to go on Sunday, but we called first. And they go, well, he's an I own family only. It's like, well, okay. Yeah. They were going to restrict visitors because too many people were coming. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, and people couldn't, just couldn't understand that. Well, it's and, like, I mean, and he was weak. I mean, he, yep, he could he was barely horrible. talk. But he's, well, when I saw him yesterday, he was happy as a lark. We found out, you know, he's getting moved, and the the bad toxins they got that out of his blood bloodstream. So, did you see in the news yesterday there was a guy that had the uh, uh, really yeah the flesh eating bag really yep where did he get it I, I didn't get I, we had company over uh, and so I didn't get to hear the whole story but hmm yeah there was a young kid here yesterday had all scratched up on his shoulder he says, you don't want to get that wet yeah you know no matter what red tide or not yeah i mean don't go well, in the water i told roy before yeah that you know salt water is the, the dirtiest water you can get into <laughs> well he's got to find out on his own oh, and he did yeah he did <laughs> But he's, um, his leg is a mess. It's really infected, so. It's where he fell, right? Both legs. Yeah, he's got yeah. infections. So he's, he's going to be in there for a little while, I'm pretty sure, while they get that under control. So uh, will they do, have to do surgery or? No. No? Nope. I don't, it doesn't sound like it. Okay. Nope. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound like it. It sounds like he got pretty darn lucky, actually. So you get, well, you're getting. I wonder if that wouldn't the cause of him having, you know, say the heat stroke because uh, uh, I watch. Uh, with, uh, it was tuna. septic. He was in septic shock. Yeah, that's what was wrong. Watching that wicked tuna. There's one of the captains that had a cut and he was handling the bait and got sick yep. and had to go to the hospital. Yep, it's no joke. See any dolphins out here this morning? No dolphins, but there's a lot of movement in the water. There's bubbles. Yeah. Well, we had a manatee the other morning. Manatee you saw a manatee this morning? Yeah. Yep. And we had one yesterday afternoon. We had a shark come in. A shark? Yeah, me and boys were sitting over here, and you could, you know, it was starting to get low tide, so you could see it. See that? Yep. 
What's that? Some some bubbles over here. How big was the shark? Uh, he was probably five, six foot. So we we see him coming in. I go, oh, that's a big fish. And then you, when he got on the sandbar, you go, I, you can tell. I go, that's a shark. Yeah. So we start walking up. That fish came right to here. Oh wow! And we were there. Come right at us. Turned. It went away. I thought it was a, a nurse, but it was gray. It was a shape of a nurse shark, but it was all gray. So I don't know exactly, but there was people out there. So it started yeah. going out there. We were walking down the beach to follow the shark. <laughs> I go, shark. And they start coming. I go, no, stay where you are, because he's in between you and, right. you know, he went by him. They got to see it, you know, at least seen it and go, okay. And they, wow. <laughs> they got out of the water. <laughs> well, it's like glass out there, huh? Yeah. But no fish. But no bites, huh? Well, I mean, there's no fish. Yesterday, you couldn't stand here without seeing schools of fish. Wow. It was this thing, it, it, this is all... Uh, was it sheephead and drum or...? A tree, a sheephead. Uh, uh, Any snook? A lot of snook. That's all what right. I'm here this morning. Uh, uh, big jacks, wow. uh, ladyfish, uh, redfish, black drum. I mean, it was Really? Everything. Oh, it was like looking at an aquarium. And that's something, how all of a sudden they're back. Like somebody's flipped the switch. When I'm just, you know, this is all tree bottom too. And right. There's a tree out here with, uh, about 30 yards out. So yeah. that tells you how far the beach used yeah. to be. I mean, it it wasn't out there. I don't remember it ever being out that far, but it's amazing. But that's good for the fish to hide in yep. too. All those, those stumps that are yep. sticking up out there. That makes sense. Well, I know where you can catch a grouper. Yeah. You just have to cast really far out there. Well, that one yesterday, you could just touch it. Oh, yeah. He was right here. Yeah. I, I, yeah. He was here all morning. Yeah. Yep. Well, I don't know where he is now. <laughs> well, they, I heard on the news that they took a 100-pound a, a grouper out of, out of Fort Myers, so I don't know if you yeah. made it down that far. Well, that whale shark topped it all. That was incredible. Man, that thing was huge. Well, and he's probably eating the dead group. Yeah, probably. You know? Yeah. All right, I'll see you on the Alrighty. way back. Hopefully, you'll have a bucket full of fish when I come back. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh, come on. I think you're Think positive. Gonna, <laughs> where we're going to see with the snorkels on. There you go. <laughs> That's interesting. Yesterday morning, I'm sure you heard the story. Fisherman Mike said the beach was just loaded with fish here. Now they've moved on. Yesterday morning, we saw some dolphins. That was fun. Hoping to get to see some dolphins again this morning. But I, there's a lot of there's a lot of activity out here in the water. There's lots of fish jumping out here. The water's swirling around. There's definitely fish out here in the water. That's a wonderful sign. And seeing a the manatee, they said they saw a manatee. Mike saw a manatee come by this morning. We haven't seen the dolphins yet. Well, that's a definite sign that things are turning around for us here in Naples. At this beach, I can't speak for all. Ooh, an osprey. Right, flew right overhead. Landed right up. Did you see that? He came right over me. I could have reached up and touched them. My goodness. That was cool. Landed right up there. Oh, come on. Silly. Right up there in the tree. That was incredible. That's another good sign. When you see the ospreys, you know the fish are back along the beach. See them sitting up there? What a beautiful bird. I mean, he just flew right over my head. That was so cool.
Again, that's a great sign to see the osprey up there. That means the fish are offshore. Awesome, awesome, awesome news. And I do see them jumping out here. Let's see if I just hold here in one spot. Watch the water out here. See if we see some swirls or fish jump. Fisherman Mike said he saw just about every kind of fish offshore yesterday swimming along here. Drum, sheep's head. What he saw, snook, schools of them. That is awesome news. Of course, the fish just jumped to the left of the camera. That's how it always is. That's how it always works. Wherever I point the camera, nothing happens. <laughs> the dolphin will come up to the left or the right. I have a feeling those, ooh, one just jumped right there in front of us. Did you see it? Right straight there. Cool. I have a feeling the dolphins will be by this morning. I've got a little late start here, about a 20 minute late start. We're up in area four. Actually, we're just crossing in to area four. The very south end of area four at Del Norwigans in North Naples. Very peaceful out here. The park doesn't officially open until eight o'clock. 8 a.m. till sundown are the official park hours, but they do open the gate around 7.30 let people in a little early. That was nice seeing Fisherman Mike down there. Getting a little fishing report from him. Keeping my eyes open here, see if I see anything interesting along the beach here, any neat shells or anything. We're still in the shadows of these big Australian pines along the beach. It's a little hard to see the water here, but I think you can tell it's pretty gosh darn clear. Looking really nice here. down to the south beautiful sky beautiful colors out here Still some signs of the dead marine life that was washed up on shore. It came ashore because of the red tide. Still seeing the horseshoe crabs on the beach. There's one horseshoe crab there. Poor little things. So many of these died, not just fish. I mean, it was everything, crabs, fish. You know what? This is not a dead one. This is the shell. This is just the shell that one shed. Awesome. That's a good sign. That is not a dead one. This is just an empty shell. They shed, this is an exo, exoskeleton is the technical term. And they shed this, they everything, their legs, everything. So that's just an old shell. That's good news, not a dead horseshoe crab. Just an old shell. Well, by now, I'm sure you've seen my posts on Facebook about Roy. 
you might have heard me talking with Mike that he did get moved out of ICU yesterday afternoon late yesterday afternoon he's in a regular room now so they're just gonna they're working on his legs he's got a bad infection in his legs but the good news is that flesh-eating bacteria that was in his bloodstream the antibiotics have killed that so one less thing to worry about now they just got to deal with those infections keep Roy in your thoughts and prayers as always Beautiful, absolutely beautiful Tuesday morning here in North Naples, Florida. Huh. I'm looking down the beach and Fisherman Mike is out in the water and with his friend. I guess they decided to do some snorkeling instead of fishing. Huh. We'll see what that's about when we get back down there and chat with him on the way back. So nice to see the fishermen back here. I wonder if there's any up at Wiggins Pass this morning. I'm looking here for some shells. Hoping. Hoping to find something. The tide's on its way in here. We're almost at high tide. Well, low tide's always the best for shelling. But we usually find something interesting. There's a piece of a lightning whelk over there, a big piece of a lightning whelk. It's like half a lightning whelk. Beautiful shells, those lightning whelks. My friend Kelly is back. See her out here on the sandbar. Darn trash out here. There's a dead fish. It looks like a dead speckled trout. There's still going to be fish occasionally. Oh my goodness. Is that an apple murex shell? Yes. Yes, yes. Look at that. A beautiful little apple murex shell. Beautiful apple murex. Great little find right out here on the little sandbar. But sadly, there's a, a trout washed up on the beach. They're gonna, the red tide is still out, out in the Gulf offshore, so there will be an occasional dead fish washing up on the beach. We're not 100% out of the woods yet. Look at that, another little apple murex. How cool is that? Two little apple murex shells. Good morning, Kelly. How are you doing? Happy to be back. Yeah, we missed you. There's a little bit. Yeah, but trash and a dead fish. It's like, yeah. Well, but for the most part, just so beautiful. It is taking a definite turnaround. I haven't been here in so long, I didn't know it was doing this. Oh yeah. Well, you missed all the horrible stuff. I mean, I was watching you. So <laughs> yeah. I knew Dolphin just came up behind oh. you. 
right straight behind you, a dolphin just popped up. He's going this way. See that little flat spot out there? He's heading to the south here. Yesterday, yeah, there was four I saw out here swimming along. He just popped up. Looked like he was going south that direction. It was so flat out there. All right, where'd you go? Boy, he's, oh, he went, he's way down there already. Huh, where's the rest of the family? What? It is so, it's so cool. I mean, it's so nice to see them out here. See the dolphins again, manatees. Yeah, he's making, he'll be back. But the good news, you know, you heard about Roy. He's out yes, of ICU, so that's, so that's great, great news. So that just is the awesome. antibiotics helped him? Yeah. Oh, goodness. He's still, I mean, concerned. that helped that really bad stuff. He's still got some infections in his legs, you know, and he's going to be in there for a little while while they get that under control. So it'll be, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And, but he's happy as can be. I mean, I mean, the first couple days it was he could have lost his leg. I mean, that was one of the prognoses. He could have lost the leg. Well, when I was watching you report him at the beginning of the red tide, he had said he was out swimming, and I was thinking like, oh, yeah, I don't know if that's exactly where it's from, but yeah, well, he's stubborn. You know, he's gonna do we whatever, <laughs> whatever he wants to do, no matter yes, what. Yes, but he's, I just can't wait to see, you know, this, this is the first time ever I've come to the beach and he wasn't And not has Roy, yeah. The very first time. Well, close your eyes, he's there. You'll hear his uh, harmonica I when guess. you walk by. <laughs> well, I'll watch him. All right. All right, I'll see you later. You, Rob. I'll be here. Okay. All day, I'm at Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, here's a fighting conch shell down here. Little, boy, a nice one too. A little Florida fighting conch. That's a nice shell right there. It's got the, still got a nice point on it. Really cool. I feel like I missed something over here. Got to go back over here and look. Finding two little apple murex shells. Almost side by side. That was a nice little find. Beautiful. Two beautiful apple murex shells. I feel like there must be more of them down here. A little family. Ugh. I got nowhere to put trash. Look at this. That is so sad. Get it out of the water at least, and up onto the beach. Any shells over here? This is right here, you see this water gets really deep between the beach and this sandbar. That's a good place to find shells too, down in there, they get trapped. Something floating out here. I'm sure it's a dead fish, sadly. We've been having some grouper float in, unfortunately. Grouper float in from the Gulf. What is that over there? That looks like, that's a horseshoe crab. That's the back of a horseshoe crab. It's floating with its tail down. Might just be an empty shell. I already saw one of those. One that had just shed its shell. But that is not a fish, that is a horseshoe crab. It's just off the sandbar, so I can't walk over there without getting soaked. I don't want to get my car keys wet. Well, that is so cool. We saw, well, 
right when Kelly came over and was talking to me, a dolphin came up right behind her. Always fun to see the dolphins. Now even more so. It's great knowing they're here, knowing they're back. Let's keep walking north here. See what we come across. I'm happy already. I got two nice little shells this morning. There's a neat looking little scallop shell. We'll get up on that other little piece of beach, that little spit up here by where Roy sits that sticks out where the birds are. That's usually a good spot to find some shells. Our friend Kelly, she's excited. She's just got back. She's got her paddle board all excited about getting out here on the water. There's a lot of people excited about getting back to the beach. What do we got down here? It's one of these little piles where you never know what you're gonna find buried in here. Oyster shells. Another apple murex, not quite a whole apple murex. Piece of an apple murex shell. I already got two of those, two nice ones in my pocket. That's a little bigger than the two I have. Oh, that would have been another great find. Looks like it's an apple murex morning, huh? So lots of little slipper shells. Lots of our little Local slipper shells. A little piece of worm rock. Just a little tiny piece of worm rock. There's a slipper shell right there. There's, I see just piles of those right here where I'm at. Turn it over and use your imagination. It looks like a little slipper. little worm tip over here there's the little wormy tip that's just the end of a worm shell they call them wormy tips oh that's the end of a banded tulip shell oh, what do we have over here what's going on hang on I'm gonna wash this off before I show it to you another Another little apple murex shell. That's the third apple murex this morning. How cool is that? All pretty small. I found one a little bigger, but it was broken. That is so cool. Well, what do we have in this little pile? A lot of rocks in this one. Old coral, fossils. This is a great place to go fossil hunting. All kinds of neat stuff in these rocks. Look at all these shells. Little wormy tip buried in there. You really need a little one of those little rakes, you know, like a little gardening rake to go through this stuff. Pretty hard on the fingers. There's a little tiny, tiny olive shell. <laughs> a 
I'm gonna move on here. I could spend all morning in one spot. Just amazing. Amazing all the neat things you find when you just stop and look. There's a piece of a jewel shell, half of a jewel shell. Very cool, a jewel box, I call it a jewel box shell. A lot of times they're really, really pink inside. The jewel box. Oh, where's some whelks? Let's find a whelk or a moon shell. There's a little kitten paw over here. These are all over, but this one just, I just kind of caught my eye, this little kitten paw. A little kitten's paw shell. Cat lovers get a kick out of these. They collect these. The kitten paw. But you can see some nice little piles of shells on the beach. Just waiting for you to come down and start digging through them. Nice little chunk of worm rock back over there. And some little scallops buried in here. And... That's a great sound to hear, huh? It's been a while since y'all have heard that. There's another Murex up here. Half a Murex. Half of an apple murex, that's kind of neat. You can see the inside of it. That's very cool. That's a keeper, that's just a little conversation piece. And I did see something else over here, right next to that murex. A big olive shell, nice big olive shell. Another fairly common shell here. walk out on the sandbars you'll see the snails inside of these you'll see them crawling around out on the sandbars pretty neat and some really big ones at that too boy some really great stuff here along the beach this morning Here's what's left of a little banded tulip. There's a little worm shell over there. Sticking out. A little piece of a worm shell. Piece of a shark eye. A broken shark eye or moon shell. That's the eye. That's just a broken one there. Gosh, all kinds of interesting things down here. I saw a neat little worm shell up here somewhere. Hard to you find, you see something, you turn your eye and it disappears. There's a nice little worm tip. Lots of little olive shells along here. There's a couple more little olives over here. That's a broken one. There's a little olive. Another little olive shell. Little baby fighting conch shell over here next to it. Little baby Florida fighting conch shell. Neat stuff. Neat, neat stuff. So nice to be able to come out here and do a little shelling. Focus on the shells and not dirty water. Nice little piece of worm rock.
What we got down there? It looks like another broken moon shell. Yep, part of a shark eye or moon shell. Maybe a nautica. Just a piece of one. Beautiful shells, another one of my favorites. There's probably half a dozen shells that are on my top picks here. I love the whelks, the murex shells, the moon shells, the crown conchs, that's one of my favorites, the tulip shell. Those are my favorites. I'm gonna give you a look down the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Got this seaweed here, that's nothing gonna hurt you. Look at that, beautiful out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful morning. That's looking down to the south. We're up in North Naples, Florida. I did see a dolphin, one dolphin swim by earlier this morning. It was a little too far to really see him in the camera. I know they're out there. Again, that's a great sign to see the dolphins. But it is really, really flat out here this morning. Look at that water. It's like glass out there. And I think there's a dolphin right straight out here behind me. Yep. Son of a gun, I turn around. There's a dolphin right out there. I just saw a fish jump and I saw a dolphin come up right behind it. Let's see which direction he's going. He was chasing a fish out there. I think he's going to the north, which would be to the right. Oh, he's still out here. He's right over in this area, right over there. There might be two of them over there. See him? Did you see him come up there? You should have got a good look at him just now. Can you see him? There he is. Pelicans flying by. He's just He was just to the left of that buoy out there. I think there's a school of fish out there. More pelicans coming by. And there's the dolphin. He just came up to the right of the buoy. There he was. Did you see him? I hope you can see him out there. Slowly going to the... There he is again. Darn flies. Just one this morning. We saw four yesterday in a little pod. Did you see him again? Isn't that cool? It's so neat seeing the dolphins. It's gonna be another great day. It's always, when we see dolphins in the morning, we always have a great day. Yesterday we saw dolphins and Roy got released from my, the ICU. Moved into a regular room. Isn't that wonderful? See, the dolphins do bring good luck. We've been finding some neat shells along the beach this morning. Very, very peaceful and calm out here this morning. that dolphin come up one more time he's making his way to this to the north I can see him I don't think you can he's out in this area here heading this direction heading this direction towards where you see that white ball out there he swam up and down the beach already this morning one time that's cool. He's a little too far away.
Well, let's get back to our shelling. Maybe we'll see another one come by. It's walking north here along the beach. <coughs> This was a good, we, so there's one good little spot back there behind me in area four for shelling. There's, looks like there's a few more shells up here. A lot of this seagrass though, and that hides a lot of good stuff. Kinda gotta dig around through it. Just never know. What's going to appear before your eyes when you're shelling? It's gorgeous with the sun out here. Again, it is just about high tide, so... Not the best time to do any shelling. But we have been finding some nice little specimens here and there. But the good news is just how beautiful it's looking out here. Last week it was terrible. Absolutely terrible and still terrible up to the north of us. Absolutely horrific. Absolutely horrific, the water conditions to the north of us, up towards Fort Myers in Sarasota. Feel so bad for those people up there. And we are not out of the woods by any means. The red tide is always lurking out there in the Gulf, that red algae bloom. All it takes is a, the wind to blow the right way and blow it back on our shore, up on our beaches. And we'll be back into the, the clutches and red tide. Ugh. But the good news is right now we're not. A little whelk shell. A little lightning whelk. No, part of a lightning whelk, almost. Piece of a lightning whelk. 80% of a little lightning whelk shell. out here. Look at them all. Cool sight, huh? Sadly, another horseshoe crab floating over here. This proof that the red tide is still out there, out in the Gulf. Poor dead horseshoe crab. Actually, this isn't, a, I don't know if that's a dead one or just the shell again. be the empty shell. There was, there was no meat inside of that. 
find on the dead ones. Saw an osprey this morning, that was fun. Seeing the osprey, that's another good sign. It means the fish have returned. And we see the osprey fishing. They're hanging out in these pine trees looking for fish. So that's a great sign. Now this is where I was walking last night for sunset. The water, this sandbar was completely exposed last night. Now you can see there's just a little piece of it sticking up. The tide is still coming in. It was a very nice sunset last night. Very interesting. Neat colors, clouds. I'm glad I came out here to take it in. I might come back out here again tonight. Back to my happy place, the beach. Not many shells along here. I'm curious, I want to get up to the pass, get up to the north end of the park, and see if there's anybody fishing today. I'm thinking the fishermen might be returning. We did see Fisherman Mike this morning. He was telling us yesterday morning he was just seeing schools and schools of different kinds of fish swimming just offshore of the beach here, just right out in the shallow water. He even saw a big shark. He said a six foot shark came right up, swam right up to the edge of the beach. He didn't know what kind it was. He said it looked like a nurse shark, but it was gray. So I have no idea what that might've been. But a six footer, that's a pretty good sized nurse shark. Look at this. Somebody collected a pile of fighting conch shells and just left them on the beach. I don't know why they do that. A couple nice little cockle shells that they left here. Wow, look at that. A whelk. A couple nice little worm tips. Thank you, whoever did that. <laughs> that makes the shelling easy. Look at all those lightning, oh, the lightning whelks. Look at all those biting conks. Some olive shells, a big olive shell here. Nice worm shells. Little lightning whelk. Hmm. I like it when this, the shelling's like that. <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of Florida fighting conks on the beach. You can see by the pile of them there, all empty. We always make sure the shells are empty before we take them home. I don't know if I'm gonna be going up to Wiggins Pass. There is no beach. I do see a fisherman all the way up there from here. Every time I, now there's another dead fish washed in, a mullet, that's a mullet. There will be an occasional dead fish still washing up on the beach. 
as I've said now several times, the red tide is still out in the Gulf. It's just not here along the shore like it was. Anything neat down here? All these little shells. This is when, when I stop and I start looking, I start finding neat little things. It's hard to see. But I think there's a little scallop shell down there, just a little tiny scallop. See that white shell right down there? That's a scallop. There's an old lightning whelk. That's an old one there. Well, heck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through up here. Look at all these shells here. Wow. Just piles of them. Somebody's been digging through them, but they've just begun to scratch the surface here. Wow, look at them all. Man. Well, I didn't see any signs of any more sea turtle crawls. I don't know if there's any down at the south end. I'm just wondering if there's any beach I can get through here. We've lost so much beach up here at the north end. We've gained a huge amount of beach behind me in area four. Up here in area five, we lost the beach. Pretty much lost the whole beach here. This is a, only this has taken place over in the last six months. Just some heavy, big storms with crashing waves. You can see where the beach used to be, way up here. And used to come out. Used to come oh, way out here, way out. I mean, use your imagination. If that's how high the sand used to be, which is probably a good six feet up in the air. I just tapered off and tapered off and went out and out and out and out. There oh, used to be a big stretch of beach up here. It'll be interesting to see if we have any fishermen up here this morning. I am suspecting that we will see some fishermen at Wiggins Pass this morning. Look how calm it is out there. Almost, almost like glass. Just a few little ripper, ripples from the breeze. Beautiful colors though. Any shells, any shells down here. Well, yes, there are shells. 
anything I want to pick up. Very, very quiet Tuesday morning here. This is Area 5 up in North Naples at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, Area 5 Beach, what's left of Area 5 Beach. Hurricane Irma last September really put the icing on the cake as far as washing this end of the park away. There's Roy's shell. Uh, Roy's shell is still hanging here, thankfully. Nobody has taken it down off the tree. There it is, a cockle shell that we hung for Roy the other day. That's awesome. Let's just say a little prayer for our friend Roy real quick. I'll give everybody a little moment of silence here. Prayers going out to Roy. Look at all the hearts. We sure do miss him out here at the beach, don't we? But our prayers are definitely being answered. God bless you, Roy. As I've been talking to him over the past several days in the hospital, he is changing his tune about coming to the beach. I can't blame him. He's had a, went, still going through a terrible ordeal. But is going to pull through. That's the good news. Out of the ICU and into a regular room. They moved him out of ICU late yesterday afternoon, so that's great news. Just keep those prayers coming for Roy. I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be a mailbox full of cards today. I expect the cards to start rolling in in today's mail. I've posted Roy's address several times on Facebook here on Southwest Florida Television. If you want to send him cards, look for a photo of that shell that we were just looking at, and you will find Roy's address there if you want to send him a Get Well card. Or anything else. <laughs> you can, If you want to order a hard copy of his book signed by him, you can... Send him a check for 20 bucks, send it to that address, and he'll get you one of his books out. He still has some hard copies left that he'll sign for you. Or you can order it on Amazon. Either way. Our good friend Roy. Some of the trees, you can see the trees that got knocked down in the hurricane last September. hanging shells on the root system. 
Well, I hear fishermen heading out to the pass right now as we're walking up here. Great, great sign. I know Roy definitely misses being out here. No doubt about that. Beautiful out here. This is Wiggins Pass. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park where we're at right now. It's up in North Naples, Florida. Come up here onto the beach. You look around, look at that. Look at the color of the water. Is that not marvelous? Just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. A week ago, this water was almost black. Look at it now. Look how Mother Nature heals herself. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. I love jumping up on this bench and looking around. Another great little vantage point. All the beautiful sea oats blowing in the breeze. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful Tuesday morning here in our little piece of paradise in North Naples, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Boy, the wind's really blowing the camera around here, knocking the gimbal around. Look at those colors. Love it. That's a picture right there. I'm gonna snap that off quick. Stand by. You don't come back. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna see Mike, Fisherman Mike, on the way back down the beach again. I'm, I hope he stays, sticks around for us. We did see a dolphin earlier this morning. Fisherman Mike and his friend saw a manatee swim by this morning. So we're definitely in the recovery mode here after that last bout with red tide see by the water. It's really starting to clear up nicely. And there's one, two, three, four fishermen up here at the pass. There were no fishermen here for weeks. Gorgeous. Seen enough dead fish and marine life on the beach to last a lifetime. Ugh. There's still some dead fish on the beach here and there. And occasionally one will still wash in. Because as we know, that red tide is always out there somewhere. But the one thing we are not dealing with here in Naples is that toxic blue-green algae that the poor folks just to the north of us are experiencing. I mean, 
it's a disaster. A disaster what's happening there when they release the water from Lake Okeechobee. Something has to be done about that. Next Sunday is a statewide Sunday, August 12th. I believe it was from 11 to 12. Just hands across the beach. They want to see people come out in support of stopping the Lake O releases. Come out and just link up. And Wouldn't that be neat if we had a human chain all the way up and down the coastline? Huh? Look into that, hands across the beach. I think that's what it's called. Beautiful little scallop shell down here. Beautiful little scallop. Beautiful little fighting conch shell. wondering where I'm at. This is North Naples, Florida. This is Wiggins Pass, the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. We just finished dredging this pass out. You can see how dark it is. It almost drops off. You see the light green and it just drops off. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Oh, we saw this yesterday, this piece of a moon shell. Surprise it's still here. That is one, or would have been one, big shell right there. Look at the size of that, what's left of it. That was a huge shell. I wish I had found that in one piece, wow. What do you think, Scott and Linda, would that not have been a nice find? back down the beach. See if Fisherman Mike's still there. See if he caught anything. I think he put on his mask and snorkel and was out taking a swim. See what he found offshore. I hope he's still there. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning here. I'm just amazed at all the support and love that Roy is getting from our Facebook friends. It really warms my heart to see all the people that care about him out there. They've never met the man, only through Facebook. Isn't that amazing? I mean, we're, we're, we're a family. We're not like a family, we are a family. Oh. 
another broken moon shell, darn it. I always I encourage everyone when you're new for the first time, if you when you're watching in, when tuning in, watching these beach walks, let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group. That's what these beach walks are for. It's about people. It's about everybody making new friends. People meeting people. There's some great friendships that have been made from opposite, opposite ends of the world. <laughs> it amazes me how many people watch this. It just amazes me. Look at that scallop shell. Beautiful. Beautiful scallop. But as I was saying, these beach walks, they're just, I'm just providing you with a little platform, something to watch, but I don't care what you comment about. As long as it's not stupid <laughs> I don't want to hear about Governor Rick Scott poisoning our water and taking money and you know what there's two sides to every coin and I just I'm sick and tired of hearing it and all the people saying how they're never coming back to our state and blah 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 and I said it on my personal page, all those people threatening to never come to Florida again for a vacation. I hope they keep their promise. Because we don't want people like that here. I like having the beach to myself. I don't know about you guys watching, <laughs> but I love having the place to myself. But unfortunately, that's never going to happen in the state of Florida. Look at that as we look to the north. Isn't that gorgeous? That water is just spectacular. Beautiful blue sky. Hey everybody, <laughs> that is me. So nice to see people out here. This place was deserted last week. I took some pictures of a completely empty beach. Good morning, how are you? Hi. Boats heading out now, fishermen heading out. The Gulf is starting to come alive again. The beach. You're gonna have to start getting out here early in the morning again if you wanna do some shelling because the people are returning. A lot of people are being cautious. I can't blame them about getting in the water. If you do go in the water, be sure to shower off. 
And I would suggest that if you come here to this park, bring some some type of environment friendly soap to use when you shower off. They do have outdoor showers here at the park scattered up and down the beach. There's five bathhouses with showers outside. So take advantage of them if you do go swimming. Oh, look at that water. Just go back. Go back to last Thursday's beach walk. And look and see what color the water was up here. You are going to be absolutely amazed. A complete 180 degree turnaround here. I got a do a little management here on my phone real fast. Don't go away. Hopefully we're not gonna lose the signal. Just stick around. Hang on one second. Whoops, I'm back. I apologize for that delay. Gotta get to turn the gimbal back on here. Get back here. I see a couple people stuck around. That's good, sorry about that. But my iPhone was full. I couldn't take any pictures. I just wanted to get a picture of this water here. So I'm gonna snap off a quick photo. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I've got to clean out my photo albums here on this phone. Gotta back them up. Hit the share button. Let everybody see firsthand what the water looks like here at Del Nor Wiggins. I mean, there's a lot of problems here in Southwest Florida, especially to the north of us, but you know, people see things on the news and they don't realize, you know, that it's it's only certain areas that are affected with this terrible red tide and blue green algae. This is the color of, that our water should be. Look at that. It's not 100% back to normal here. It's a little a little tiny bit on the green side still, but look how clear it is. And just in this one mile stretch of beach at Del Norwegans, there's changes in the color of the water. So it only makes sense, you know, that there's gonna be problems somewhere, but not everywhere. It is so nice to see people finally out here enjoying the beach. People actually out here shelling. See my videos from last night of our sunset? Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous last night. 
Be sure to check that out. Look at this, there's a huge pile of shells right down here. Earlier this morning, we saw some great shells on the beach. There are some dead fish still washing up on the beach because that red tide is still out in the Gulf. I mean, there still are fish dying out there, but the red tide is not along our shore, right up along our beach. <clears throat> the red tide is always out there, by the way, always out in the Gulf. It is lurking around somewhere out there. It's a red algae bloom. Hopefully the tide is still coming in. That sandbar where all the birds sit out there is slowly disappearing. Got some photographers out here taking pictures of the birds. Sandbar is out there with the little birds sitting on it. This is where we'd normally see our friend Roy sitting, right up here. This is where he hangs out, right here. Audrey's bench is right up under that pine tree there. Finding anything good down there? Uh, little ones. Little ones? Yeah, just looking for those sharks, Steve. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Did, you find, did you find some? No, not yet. No sharks, Steve? Yeah, I just got started. Oh. Yeah, There's... how's Roy doing? Uh, they got him out of ICU, put him in a regular room, so he's improving. Good. I mean, he's getting better. He's in good spirits. and He's a little leery about coming back to the beach. Yeah. Gun shy, but... Uh, it's clearing out, so... Yeah. Big difference from what it was a week ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like beautiful now. Oh, big difference. Well, good luck good on this. Yep, good luck. Thanks. She's there looking for shark's teeth. And, you know, that's a great way to find them. Just sit in one spot and you just kind of start digging through the sand, sifting through the sand. You'll never, you can find a shark's tooth there. It's not like they're just, a lot of times you'll find them just laying up on the beach, but there's a lot, there's lots of them buried in the sand here. Look at all those little birds out there. Can you hear them? We've got some seagulls, royal terns, a lot of royal terns. The gulls are down on this end and the terns are up on that end. It's really nice to see these birds back here. Really nice. Then we got some little sandpipers in front of us here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
be some great sounds for meditation, huh? I'm gonna record a minute of this. I'll be right back, okay? I'm just gonna record a quick minute of these, these sounds. <laughs> 